Hello and welcome to my video submission for the Penn State Graduate School Exhibition. My name is Michael Hart and I'm a doctoral candidate in the McCourtney Family Graduate Fellow in the English Department. My current research, funnily enough, grew out of my own experience in graduate school. As I took classes and began to better understand the nuances of the academic profession, I seriously started to consider the ways in which graduate students are trained as quote-unquote professionals. This line of inquiry led me to research how, precisely, English literature became a formalized field of academic study. My current project, Up the Academy, English Studies in the Makings of an Illiberal Education, investigates the historical moment of this academic formalization, particularly at the University of Cambridge in the late 19-teens and early 1920s. The purpose of my research is to complicate the current stance taken towards the rise of English studies in the university, which views this historic moment with great derision, castigating the early academy as solely reactionary and ultra-conservative, reflective of a greater European conservatism that led to the First World War. While in many ways the early academy was indeed reactionary and conservative, my project shows how it was also innovative and progressive by examining the relationship between the university and four particular socio-political movements at this time. The rapidly changing national education policy, the growing eugenics movement, the fight for women's suffrage, and the rise of the Labor Party. All of these socio-political movements commandeered the physical and epistemological space of Cambridge as a site to develop highly particularized conceptions of national character during a time of great political and social upheaval. My project narrates these heretofore undiscussed relationships. Methodologically, my project is historicist, materialist, and semiotic all at once. It examines the historical context of the academization of English studies during the First World War through a close reading of primary sources with contemporary reflections, my project will also draw upon archival materials from Cambridge thanks to a research scholarship I was awarded from the Research and Graduate Studies Office. Lastly, my project is semiotically self-reflexive as I am performing a cultural analysis of how cultural analysis became a mode of academic thought. Together, these historicist, archival, and theoretical impulses allow me to develop most fully a narrative of early English studies that remains untold in contemporary scholarship. Ultimately, my project, Up the Academy, offers a radically new history of early English literary studies at Cambridge. Thanks for listening. And I'd like to acknowledge uh, my entire dissertation committee, my two co-directors, Professor Janet Lyon and Professor Jonathan Eburn, uh, and my committee members, Professor Robert Casario and Professor Dan Purdy. Likewise, I'd like to thank the Penn State English Department, the College of Liberal Arts, and the Research and Graduate Studies Office.